Hi everyone and welcome to this new episode of Revit Programming using Python and today we're gonna make a footprint roof using the Revit API and Python so we're gonna try to make something like this so let's start so first of all uh, as usual I'm gonna take a look at the um, the ID of this roof and you can find it in here, get type ID. It's 45441. So I'm just gonna take a picture of this and close it. And the second thing you want to do is to get the ID of uh, the level as well. So here it is, the ID 694, you can write it down also. So because I'm going to use the IDs, you can do it the, uh, the other way. You can filter the elements and get the levels and, and then look for the level that has this name. And same thing for the roof. You can filter the elements and get this type that you want to do or you want to, to use. So now let me get rid of this one. And what I want to do is select the walls and go to the rivet python shell and i have already imported here some libraries from autodesk rivet database and as usual we have the transactions we have the active document and now let's uh, collect the selection they are walls let's call them walls equal selection and then we are going to try to retrieve the lines because we are going to need them and before we do that let's go to the rivet api so here i have the footprint uh, class uh, but you cannot find in here the create uh, method so what you need to do is you have to type new boot print roof method. If you click on this, you are going to find it inside the rivet.creation namespace in document class. So this is the, the uh, method. So as arguments, we need to pass the curve array, which is the footprint, which are uh the lines that we are going to retrieve from the walls and then we need to pass the level and then the roof type and then the model curve array so we are going to start with the curve array the footprint so here we have the walls that we selected let's get the lines so let's type walls lines equal to I'm going to create a loop that gets the location of each wall and gets the curve of that wall <clears throat> so let's type wall dot location dot line or curve or wall in walls lines and here I had a capital letter and now let me close these red brackets so this is a for loop that goes through uh, that goes through oh here we have a mistake yeah so it goes through these walls and gets the, the location and then gets the curve for each wall inside uh, these, lo uh, these walls. So let's go ahead and now if we print this really quickly for you to see what's going on in here. So we have a mistake because ID, ID responsible is not defined. So I don't know what exactly was the problem. It seems to be some 
uh, issues with the uh, Revit Python shell, so I just deleted it and installed it again. So let's go again and select the walls, go to add-ins, interactive Python shell. And let me open this again. So now, if we go, so these are walls. And if I print the walls lines now, we should have absolutely no problem. So we have four walls. Okay, great. So now let's get the roof type. So the first footprint, we got that. Let's get now, oh, let's start with the level first. So let's start with the level. Let me create a variable called level. And uh, here I'm going to get the element using the element ID. So I'm going to type doc.get element and here it's a small letter basically and then type element id and the number of the element which was 694 so this is the level next thing next argument is the roof type so same thing i'm just gonna copy this one and print it here and type roof type instead and the element id was uh, this one so it is let's leave it there so it's four five four four one all right and the last argument is model curve array so uh, here we have to create a curve array, a new curve array. So we can find it in here, new curve uh, array. It's this one, basically, yeah. So let's see how to implement this. I'm going to type footprint. Equals doc dot um, application basically because it is inside the yeah inside the application so we need to type let me just put it here see what's going on so let me type application dot create and then new new curve array and of course the brackets because it's a method so what am i going to do for this curve array is the following i'm going to create a for loop that goes for curve or model curve in this as capital in the footprint or not in the footprint basically in the wall lines lines and here it's small letter again I'm going to uh, to append this model curve to this footprint so i'm going to create this uh, new curve array footprint dot append and model curve so there you go now The footprint is ready, the level is ready, and the roof pipe is also ready. Yeah. 
So now let's um, let's start our transaction. Uh, so let's type t dot start. And here the last argument is basically. Let me find it again. So the the last argument is a footprint to model curve mapping model array and here we have out so let's see how to do this now using python so i'm going to type let me just copy this from here and avoid wasting time so equals to model curve array so let's see if we use it this way what are we going to get so I'm going to type it just like this and then put print roof equals and I'm going to use uh, this method to create the footprint roof. So I'm going to say doc dot create dot new foot print roof and then i'm going to start passing the argument so the first argument is the footprint the second argument is the level the third argument is the roof type and yeah here it is capital letter and the last argument is put. Let me just copy again. Control C and Control V, close it, and then go and type P dot emit. So take a look at what is going to happen right now. So look, so first of all, we have a problem right here, which is curve array does not have an argument, which is called append. So basically, let's see where exactly is the problem. Footprint is not defined. Great. So this is a small letter. What else? Yeah, so let me just save this and go again and open this one. So this is the problem that I wanted to show you. So expected strong box model array or model curve array got model curve array. So it's talking about this one. And the way to get the strong box basically is to type CLR dot strong box and then I open this. So let me just copy this one. Control C. Control V, and then I put this in brackets. So now that everything is correct, I'm gonna save and go again and open this. So now I think we don't have any problems, so I'm going to type a window. dot close to close this uh, shell di directly because it's gonna create the roof right now so let's see there you go so here is our roof 